Welcome to Psych IQ. In this video, we're tackling a complex and relatable topic why INFJs often struggle with never feeling good enough. 1. High Self-Expectations INFJs have remarkably high expectations for themselves. They set rigorous standards in various aspects of their lives, from personal achievements to the impact they want to make on the world. While this drive can lead to great accomplishments, it also creates a constant pressure to meet these lofty goals. 2. Idealism and Perfectionism INFJs are idealists and often strive for perfection. They envision an ideal world and aspire to bring it into reality. This idealism, while commendable, can lead to a sense of never measuring up when confronted with the inevitable imperfections of reality. 3. Comparing themselves to others INFJs often compare themselves to others, particularly those they view as successful or accomplished. This habit of comparison can magnify their feelings of inadequacy, as they may perceive themselves as falling short in various aspects of life. INFJs often have high expectations for themselves. They set ambitious goals and are driven to achieve them. This drive is constructive but can also lead to self-comparison when they feel they are not meeting their own standards. INFJs are dedicated to self-improvement. They continually seek to grow and become the best version of themselves. While this is commendable, it can trigger comparison when they perceive others as more advanced in certain areas. INFJs are idealists who often strive for perfection. This can lead to a constant internal comparison between their ideals and their actual accomplishments. When they fall short of their ideals, they may feel inadequate. INFJs are sensitive to feedback and critique, especially when it pertains to their self-worth or performance. Constructive criticism can trigger comparison, causing them to question their abilities and achievements. INFJs fear falling short of their own expectations. This fear drives them to seek validation through comparison with others who have achieved what they aspire to. It can also lead to feelings of inadequacy if they perceive themselves as not measuring up. INFJs can cope with their tendencies to compare themselves to others by practicing self-compassion, setting achievable goals, and seeking support from trusted individuals or professionals. Recognizing their unique strengths and focusing on personal growth rather than perfectionism can help alleviate these behaviors. Navigating comparison involves shifting the focus from external validation to internal satisfaction. INFJs can recognize that their worth is not solely determined by their accomplishments or how they measure up to others. It's essential to appreciate their unique qualities and appreciate the progress they've made on their individual journeys. Comparing themselves to others is a common behavior among INFJs, stemming from their high self-expectations and commitment to personal growth. Understanding the root causes and implementing coping strategies can help INFJs navigate and mitigate these tendencies effectively. 4. Sensitivity to Criticism INFJs are highly sensitive to criticism, whether it comes from others or their own self-critique. They tend to take feedback and critique to heart, which can exacerbate their feelings of not being good enough. INFJs often have a strong desire for perfection in their work and actions. They strive to excel in what they do and hold themselves to high standards. Criticism can feel like a failure to meet these standards. INFJs are idealists with high self-expectations. They set ambitious goals and hope to make a significant positive impact on the world. Criticism can lead to a feeling of falling short of these lofty ideals. INFJs tend to personalize criticism, taking it to heart as a reflection of their self-worth. They may internalize negative feedback, leading to self-doubt and feelings of inadequacy. INFJs are highly sensitive to emotional cues, both in themselves and others. Criticism can carry a strong emotional impact, triggering feelings of hurt, rejection, or disappointment. INFJs often fear disappointing others, especially when their actions or decisions are critiqued. This fear can intensify the emotional response to criticism as they want to meet the expectations of those they care about. INFJs can cope with their sensitivity to criticism by practicing self-compassion, seeking constructive feedback, and setting boundaries to protect their emotional well-being. 
They can also communicate their needs to those around them, asking for feedback in a supportive and respectful manner. 5. Fear of Disappointment INFJs fear disappointing themselves and others. This fear can drive them to set high standards and work tirelessly to avoid falling short. However, this constant worry about disappointing can be emotionally draining. 6. Imposter Syndrome Many INFJs experience imposter syndrome, the feeling that they don't truly deserve their accomplishments or positions. They may attribute their successes to luck or external factors, further perpetuating their sense of inadequacy. INFJs tend to have exceptionally high standards and are often idealistic in their pursuits. They set rigorous goals and envision an ideal world that they hope to create. This idealism can lead to self-imposed pressure to continuously excel and achieve these lofty ideals. The fear of falling short of their own expectations is a significant driver of imposter syndrome in INFJs. They constantly worry about not measuring up to the standards they set for themselves, which creates self-doubt and anxiety. INFJs are often perfectionists and highly self-critical. They analyze their work and actions meticulously, seeking to improve continuously. However, this self-scrutiny can easily lead to a sense of never being good enough. INFJs are particularly sensitive to criticism, whether it comes from others or their own self-critique. Negative feedback or perceived failures can exacerbate feelings of inadequacy and fraudulence. Imposter syndrome is characterized by the persistent fear of being found out as a fraud. INFJs may believe that their accomplishments are the result of luck or external factors, rather than their own skills and abilities. INFJs can cope with imposter syndrome by practicing self-compassion, acknowledging their achievements, and seeking support from trusted individuals or professionals. It's essential to recognize that they are not alone in experiencing these feelings and that many successful individuals have faced imposter syndrome as well. Overcoming imposter syndrome involves reframing one's self-perception and adopting a growth mindset. INFJs can learn to appreciate their accomplishments and acknowledge their competence. Setting achievable goals and focusing on personal growth rather than perfectionism can help alleviate these feelings. Imposter syndrome is a prevalent challenge for many INFJs, driven by their high standards, idealism, and sensitivity to criticism. Understanding the root causes and implementing coping strategies can help INFJs address and overcome these feelings of fraudulence. 7. Strategies for Coping INFJs can cope with these feelings by practicing self-compassion, setting realistic goals, and seeking support from trusted individuals or professionals. Recognizing that it's okay to make mistakes and that self-worth isn't solely based on achievements can help alleviate the burden of never feeling good enough. The struggle with never feeling good enough is a common challenge for many INFJs. While their high standards and idealism drive them to accomplish remarkable things, they can also lead to a relentless sense of inadequacy. Understanding the root causes and implementing coping strategies can help INFJs address these feelings. Exploring why INFJs often never feel good enough sheds light on the complex inner world of this personality type. If you found this video informative or resonated with the content, please consider liking, sharing, and leaving your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to PsychIQ for more thought-provoking content on psychology, personality types, and the multifaceted aspects of human behavior. Your support is greatly appreciated.